think that it really comes down to, again, if you can grow tremendously fast without sacrificing that key element, which is the people and the culture and the feel and the passion, if you can do it, do it. Um, my experience has led me to believe that it's a little bit slower pace. You really do have to be responsible. And responsible is a huge, that, that's, that's the word, because <clears throat> as much as we want more hours, and more work, and more revenue, and all that stuff, that stuff is short-lived if it's not done responsibly. Um, and you are not thinking about the long term when you make decisions based on the short term. So yeah, I think that it's, you go as fast as you can go without sacrificing the foundation of the organization which is our culture. I think that the plan that we have in place here is a fantastic one, at least in theory. So the way that we grow, we're very particular about the hiring process, of course. So the fact that we're slowly growing, but we have a, a very concentrated team of amazing people is going to only set us up for future success. So companies that start to get success and expand very quickly and very um, rapidly in many different departments, how well are those employees trained? And how well are they going to train new employees? So I feel like your company starts to get watered down if you expand rapidly. I think that Russell, what his hiring process that he has in place, he's going to hire amazing people, make sure that they know what they're doing, have them trained very well before bringing someone else into the team. Because when you bring someone else into the team, it's like coming on a shield with the Avengers. Like they're all awesome at their job. And so it's like, oh, this is almost intimidating. But you know that you're in good hands. I don't think you can put a speed on it. I think it is what it is. And I think you have to be prepared for, for whatever. And, and accept it as it goes along. And I don't think you ever, I don't think you ever want to stop wanting to grow and stop wanting to move forward and to get better. Uh, and to keep building something that people want, or if you ever stop doing that, I don't think, I don't think we can ever rest on our morals as a company and say, this is all we've done and this is all we need to do. You know, we can, we can just write it out for the rest of you know, our lives. I don't, I don't think any company ever gets to that place and just stops. Um, but I also, it's not healthy to, uh, to try to reach further than our grasp. Yeah, I think I think we keep a good balance. Um, you know, I think we move forward a lot. I think in the last several months, you know, we've made a lot of steps towards um, towards a holistic growth. You know, towards um, just a very very natural type of growth. And I think that's that's important. I mean, we can't we can't manufacture we can't manufacture growth. It just happens as it happens. We do our part to do job and trust that you know we're in the and we'll handle it when we do. Honestly, I've never grown a company so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean I think it if there's a different answer for each different type of company. You know, it depends on what your product is, what your service is, what the market's like for that product or service, where you are. I mean I think there's too many factors to be able to give a definite answer on how to successfully grow a business. There is a, a there is definitely more fulfillment in growing organically, um, where the people who started the event, um, kind of excitement with you in the very beginning stay with you throughout the whole course. Uh, the idea of growing um, extremely fast um, is relative, depending on how fa how much your team can take. Um, so if you can grow extremely fast and have everyone stay excited, then that's not a bad thing. If you shoot too fast and you're going too hard, then everyone who started that project falls off and they, again, kind of have been burnt out. Um, when you get there, the results, you're not going to have the same culture, the same team, the same ideas that you did in the beginning, which can lead to you know, kind of bad results. Um, so growing organically is, I think, based upon how willing your team is to take on more and more every day. 
You should always grow responsibly and organically. Um, you have to build infrastructure and you have to have a solid base before you take off. And I've seen companies do this where they're excited, they found a niche market and they found a marketing strategy that gets them so much money where they can just boom and explode and open up all these locations and then they do that and then they don't build the proper infrastructure, they don't build the proper systems and um, they start to implode. You know, once they're not the newest thing, they don't have that money coming in and then they have to rely on their systems which aren't there and it can really hurt them. So, it is very important to grow in a way that is sustainable. I think if you have the right goals and you're growing in the right way, the money is a byproduct, right? So if our goal, if our if our goal is just to make a bunch of money, then that's what we need to say. But if it's not, which it isn't for Ava, it's happy clients, happy, you know, family, things like that, then the money's a byproduct. That's what I see. And so I think with Avis, that's what allows us to continue growing, you know, continue, continue growing at the rate that we're growing right now. It's just because the, we're, not, we're not focused on the money. That's not our, the end all be all is not how much money we can all make or how much money can Avis make. Because uh, the, the more money Avis makes, all we're going to do is dump it into the employees anyway. So it's a benefit for our family. So the money's a byproduct for us. And I think that's how we grow and we continue to grow responsibly.